So we're here at the Arn, Arn booth. Um, Cal is doing tools for Arn. What are you doing, the latest one? So what's new in Kyle MDK is we have brand new support for MQX within uh, the Kyle tools. So not only do we support the, the MQX RTOS itself, which you can see here we're running, but we're also task aware. And so what you see here is we're actually showing uh, a window for the task summary. So these are all the tasks that are running on this demo board, which happens to be a, a Tower K60. We also have different views for the RTOS as well, such as the stack usage for each task. And here you can see the percentage used, uh, the base address of each stack for the task. We also have some kernel data for RTX. We also have the ready queues to show which tasks are ready to run at any given point in time. Also I.O. devices, as well as interrupts. Now we also support a few more windows that I don't have open just to give you an idea. The ones that I've showed you are all the checked windows. We also have all these other ones that aren't checked. So uh, this is the latest version, you just loaded it up. Yes. So this will be ready in July. So uh, in July, look forward to MQX support within Kyle uh, from both Freescale and Arm. So what is the name of this solution? So this is have paper on it? Ah, uh, yes. So this is what we call MDK Arm. And then specifically for Freescale devices, we have what's called MDK Freescale. And what this is, is a one-year uh, version of Kyle MDK that works just for Freescale's Kinetis family or, or any Freescale ARM devices. And what that'll do is give you a, a low-cost entry point in using Kyle tools for one year. All right. So, how many people use this? Lots of people. Lots of people. So, Kyle comes from uh, back in the 8051 days, so which is the uh, early 90s, really. So, it's a really mature product. It's been used and it's trusted within the industry. And... Uh, been supporting ARM since about 2003, 2004, and of course in 2005, ARM actually bought Kyle to bring that support even further. So it's a very mature product. This is one of the tools that they provide over there. So this is the U-Link Pro as well. So we also have our debug adapters. And what the U-Link Pro adds over the original U-Link 2 is it gives you an ETM connection to your device. And from that ETM connection, you get full instruction trace here. So this is a record of every instruction that's ever executed on this device since I started debugging the application. Cool. All right, thanks a lot. Are there any official pricings for that? Uh, so the MDK Freescale, is going to be around 800 bucks, and I think that's available now. MQX support is going to come from either Freescale or ARM, I'm not sure yet, but uh, that should be available sometime next month. So you, is that one year, you said? Uh, for the MDK Freescale, that's a yeah. one-year version. So it means you get updates? Yes. Right. Cool, thanks.